Danilo Gallinari, according to Sham Sharania, after receiving further evaluation, has been diagnosed with a torn ACL in his left knee as well as the torn meniscus. Per sources, this is the same ACL that Gallinari tore in 2013 and already had surgically repaired once. What are your thoughts on that? And, you know, Carmelo Anthony to to the Celtics? Or, I mean, we're going to talk about other options, but right now, like our thoughts for Mello going to Boston should be coming true. Sure. <laughs> oh, you're going to give me? Sure. I'm just saying, like, look, they need somebody who can do what they thought Daniel Gallinari was going to do. Who could they get on a vet man who could probably do that at the same rate? Carmelo, right? Or who else are you going for? Yeah, I like no. Probably no. Would you go after? I don't think you want to go with Dennis Schroeder, obviously. No, they got enough guards. Yeah, you have enough guards. You need another wing. What's another wing that we can think of in free agency? Like, could you go after Jordan Wara, even though he's on a uh, restricted free agency? Is he somebody? That yeah, I mean, it seems in? like seems like Milwaukee's going to get him back, but I mean, I, yeah, that's a viable option. Um, it's a tough blow. I mean, I'm really glad that my Bulls didn't get him now. Um, I wonder if they're like looking into any trades, but my I have issues with the Celtics' size, so I do think it needs to be a, a sizable player. Um, Marquise Morris just went to the yeah. Nets. He oh, just went to he just damn. went to the Nets. Yeah, damn. He would have been the I think yeah. somebody. <laughs> do you go after Jeremy Lamb? Oh yeah, I'd take Jeremy Lamb for sure. But it doesn't fix what you just brought up the the size issue. Yeah. Yeah, I mean they don't yeah. seem to have a, a concern with size. They they wanted they got Bruno too. I mean, um, I'm a little pissed off because I went to Jersey Mike's and I'm you know you got me on the Bruno train and I'm like all right, give me the number three and it's got Capicola on it. And what did my sandwich lack? It had no Capicola, so I'm on board with the Bruno train. Although Jersey Mike's isn't doing him well. Um, what about I, th- I know I, think I don't size- like this Blake Griffin hate that but i hate that but like <laughs> do you think he's not the athlete he was but he can make he, you know do a little bit of scoring and a playmaking role i don't know do you think yudoka could get him to play some defense well danilo probably wasn't gonna play too much defense so i guess so i just but think Blake, his, i think his hmm. career is like so over like this last year in brooklyn was just a colossal nightmare but uh, I guess I'd take Blake. I mean, he's better than Jake Lehman or Lance Stevenson. He is, he is, he is better than those two guys, yeah. I, I don't know if you want to go get Paul Millsap, who's failed to earn a role with two contenders this past year. <laughs> I got a lot of issues with that one. I'd rather take Blake than Timothy Luwalu Cabarro. Yeah. Solid that's, defender with long fine. arms. Yeah, thirty-six percent three-point shooter last year. It's not like you're going to be depending on him. I mean, for me, it's at this point. Yuta Wananabe would have been perfect for them. Yuta would have been nice. There's still Jackson Tony. Would have been nice. Yeah, oh, Jackson. Tony Snell is still on there. And Rodney Hood. Those are two I'd guys. I'd get Snell. I'd get Tony yeah. Snell right now. I'd go get Tony Snell. He just doesn't give you a hell of scoring. That's why I think Rodney Hood, he could be if he had. Like Rodney Hood, I know he's had some major injury troubles, but he's a solid off the dribble shooter, especially in the mid range. But he's lost a step. Maybe he can refine a little bit of his step. I just I mean, think Tony Snell is pretty perfect. I, I agree. I, I, I think he just doesn't give you the scoring punch. I'd rather go Carmelo or I'd rather go Carmelo before I go Tony Snell. They have enough scoring on the bench, um, especially yeah. if they think Grant Williams is about to take a leap. So we agree um, the top four are we're going to go number one, Carmelo, then Tony, then we'd go Blake, and then fourth we either go Timothy Luwala Cabarro or Jeremy Lamb. 